I'm Ricky Woods. I've had the good fortune to be able to coach high school football for the last 26 years. Um, I've been a head coach for 19. Uh, I've coached in 1A, 2A, 5A in Mississippi. I've coached in 4A in Georgia. Uh, we're talking about the sequences of the eye offense. We've covered the misdirection out of the eye. We've covered the midline, which is the, the, the what we call the bingo, the inside and outside veer. Uh, we've covered set terminology, how to get in multiple sets with real simple terms. And now we're going to talk about the lead and the power game. The, uh, you know, when we looking at the eye, I told in an earlier video, you know, we're looking for a fullback that uh, we're not going to ask to be just a crushing blocker. And I still that way. I'd rather have a runner. But he's going to have to block some. So when we talk about this, we're going to talk about the scat, which he's going to have to block. We're going to run the counter tag, which people sometimes call the counter tray. We're going to talk about the inside power. Then we're going to talk about the outside power and the outside power, which is pulling a guard. But uh, if he track enough, he'll get good enough he can shield people off. But anyway, this is the powers that I'm going to run. I'm going to run the inside power first, and then I'm going to go back and go over rules with the offensive line. Now, in our terminology, and I hope you bought all the tapes because it's going to be more beneficial to you because it talks a little bit more in detail and you all, it all groups together. But when we get an alignment, like on this side, we got the strong, we got the tight end, we call this guy the strong tackle, the strong guard, the center, the weak uh, guard, the weak tackle. And this is two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven. So that's our whole numbers, okay? All right, we got our quarterback, we got our fullback, we got our tailback. Our fullback is number four, our tailback is number three. So we got the whole number two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven. If we flip them over, let's say I'll come down here because I'll use two of them. Because we got to go through general terms because it's going to advance to that. All right. So we flipped them. This would be a 10 set for us. And it's on the sets if you've got that video. It's one, three, five, seven. It's the whole numbers. Two, four, six, eight. Because now we flipped our whole line. The same strong tackle down here is the strong tackle on the other side. And when we when we got the set video, it, it explains it very, very well. So it would help you in this leading power game if you had the set terminology. But anyway, we're going to flip it over so this the whole floated back number stays the same. All right. With that said, I'm going to go through some calls that we make on the line of scrimmage. For the It's going to affect everything. Because we rule block. We don't block defenses. Each person has a rule. So let's say... And that's right here, we got a tackle here, in here, we got a guy here. Now, he gets a call, he walks up the line of scrimmage, he's going to call even. If he's not covered, he's calling even, okay? We're going to go one, two, three. If he's inside, he's in a one. If he's head up, he's a two. If he's outside, he's in a three. This particular one's in a three. He's going to have no call. He's uncovered. But if he's covered, he's going to go four, five, six, inside, head up, outside, if he's got somebody on his head. He's covered, we're gonna go seven, eight, nine. Inside, head up outside. Backside, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So in this particular defense,